Welcome to our Modern Foreign Languages GCSE presentation. By now, most of you will know whether you are on the pathway where you are required to do a language or not. But hopefully this presentation will help you understand the reasons why um, doing a language at GCSE can greatly benefit you in the future. These are some of the reasons why studying another language will help you in the future. So better communication, both in English and obviously the language that you are studying. It should hopefully give you um, a better cultural awareness as well as we study one of our modules is um, festivals and customs, which is really interesting because although we're studying French, German and Spanish, actually those languages span across a whole massive part of the globe and actually their cultures can be very different to our own. It gives you the opportunity to make international friends, obviously allows you to travel easier when you go on holiday, you're able to communicate um, what you'd like in a restaurant or in a shop, or say you fall ill when you're abroad, you will understand and you will be able to um, speak the language to get you through all those sorts of um, situations. It's also um, proven that it also helps with your memory. Learning a language is really good to help um, improve your memory in the long term and also logic as well. But of course, it also has really good career prospects as well. Many employers, no matter what sector you're looking to go into, will be looking to see um, you coming through with a language qualification, as most things these days are international. And it also shows that you are willing to work hard and master a skill that can be quite challenging. There are also many opportunities as well um, at degree to be able to do combined degrees. So you could do history with a language, you can do law with a language, you can do politics with a language, pretty much any subject you can combine with a language these days. Across French, German and Spanish, these are the different themes and the different topics you'll be studying. If you have a quick look over them, you'll actually recognise the majority of them, as most of them we have already studied in Key Stage 3 from Year 7 to Year 9. There's a couple of extra ones that you maybe haven't studied in so much detail already, so things like charity work, the environment, um, festivals and customs and poverty and homelessness but a lot of the other ones you should actually feel quite confident already because we've done them throughout key stage three. In terms of assessment we have four exams at the end of year 11, one in reading, one in writing, one in speaking and one in listening. They are all worth 25% each. Your speaking exam will be with your class teacher in school as well. The next part of the slideshow will hopefully help to consolidate the reasons why taking a language at GCSE is a really good idea and how it will benefit you a little bit more in the future. As always, if you have any questions, please come and speak to any of us at school. Um, and if you would like to also email us as well, we're very happy to discuss in more detail.